This is Andrew for The Chosen Prime with a video review of Mastermind Creations R27 Calidus, part of the reformatted line. Um, this, of course, is their version of IDW comic um, Hot Rod or Rodimus, specifically the uh, More Than Meets the Eye variant, uh, designed kind of by Alex Milne here with a kind of a more spiky headdress. And it follows the kind of the more comic-styled uh, efforts that they've done so far. Here you see his box, um, similar to other um, reformatted figures, there is no window, it's just a standard box, but he does come packaged in a clamshell with a very nice set of instructions as well as kind of small comic story. You get your uh, hard backed stat card. He comes with one pistol here. He comes with this Energon bow, and we'll go into it a little bit. And then he also, in addition to the standard head, which is kind of his normal head here, he also comes with this little uh, smirking head. And we'll show some details off here in a little bit. So let's take a closer look here at Calidus. Taking a closer look at Calidus' robot mode, you can see here all the details match up to that IDW comic version of More Than Meets the Eye um, Rodimus. Um, the Alex Milne design specifically, how it is just nice and sleek and just lots of bits of nice detail here. That head that has the little head crest that kind of go back. And the legs here that are nice and sleek. Not a whole lot of kibble anywhere on this figure. And he transforms quite well. Um, he is primarily this bright red plastic, but there is actually a different colors of uh, kind of a matte red elsewhere on the figure, like here in his torso to actually give it a little bit more detail in his legs here. It's a bit easier to see in person. And it does just break it up a little bit as far as how much uh, red is here. And then again, if you were to put a kind of an Autobot logo here on the yellow, he would really kind of break a little bit better. And then this yellow, this yellow here on his chest and on this wing here is this nicely done, uh, solidly painted uh, gloss yellow. There's no like fading to it, so it's really nice. You know, no issues with them painting that yellow there to make it stand out nice and clear. And overall, the aesthetic here is nice with the silver, the gray, the red, and everything else. Again, the details here, this head is dead on to kind of his, the Alex Milne design with some nice uh, metallic blue eyes here. This is his standard head with the expression kind of just being stoic. But he does come with that alternate head. Uh, to show that off, I do recommend when you replace it is turn it around, kind of watching the chin. There's a screw here on the back of the head. And loosen it. I assume you could pop it off the ball joint, but it's a bit too tight for my taste. So I just loosen this up a bit just so that the two halves kind of pull apart so that you can then lift up on the head and then loosen the spare head here the same way, just kind of loosen that screw. And we'll tighten this down. Again, watching the chin as you're spinning it. And here is his uh, smirking expression, kind of more hot rodish, Rodimus overall. Just a nice little bit of smirk there. And again, just a really well done head. A lot of nice paint details there with that version of Rodimus' head there. As far as articulation, his head here is on a ball joint, so you can look up, look down, you can rotate it. The ears, the spires here for his ears do get in the way, but you can get some nice posability with the um, head. The arms here are on a uh, kind of double hinge, so they can come, they, you have multiple options as far as posing it. It rotates there, then you get the joints, so you can move it up, move it down. So you have a lot of options as far as that's concerned. The elbows here, you have a bicep swivel as well as a forearm swivel. So there's a whole lot of different options as far as the arms are concerned. And then it is a full um, double jointed elbow, mostly for transformation. So you get a whole lot of range as far as these arms are concerned. The hands are on ball joints. The finger, he has his index finger that's on a separate joint. And then the lower fingers here on one joint. So you can get a little bit of uh, different poses with his hands. He can rotate at his waist nice and free. The legs here, it's a friction um, joint forward and back. And you see he's got the full range there. And then he does have a soft detented ratchet that goes outward. Upper thigh swivel. His knees have a nice 90 degree bend. And then the feet here, there is a little bit of ankle articulation. As far as you have forward and back and then the toes can, the heel here can move out of the way. But you do get a little bit of uh, posability. And then it actually the foot can move forward and back to kind of give you a little bit more room for uh, posability. So a nice solid version here of IDW Rodimus. 
He is about uh, seven inches here to the top of his head and just a little bit taller to the top of his uh, wings here. As far as his weapons are concerned, he does come with his kind of almost masterpiece or original G1 style gun here and it just can slot into his hand and he can wield it nice and securely. And then not really, in, it's not really in the comic, but he does come, Cal just does come with this uh, Energon bow here with these uh, pieces here that can rotate in and out. And it is just a matter of kind of placing it inside of his uh, hand here and closing the fingers around it. And you can have him pose um, with his bow if you like. Um, nice options there. As far as weapon storage and robot mode, there is a peg here on the back of his backpack. You can either plug the gun in there, or you could actually, if you wanted to, it's not the best, but you can take the bow here, and using one of these two pegs, you can actually put the bow pegging this way. A little odd, a little strange, but if you wanted to, you can have him um, store the weapon there on his back. As far as posability options here for Calidus, you can get him uh, posed in some pretty dynamic poses, utilizing his uh, knee joint here, thigh swivel, the multiple joints that are here in his arms and you can have him wield either you know his gun or his bow if you like to kind of get these really dynamically uh, set up poses here that are very fitting for a Rodimus from the More Than Meets the Eye comic or if you like you just want him to kind of be on your shelf here kind of looking cocky um, that's also quite doable with this figure he just kind of exudes kind of emotion he's just kind of a really nice uh, version here of uh, IDW Rodimus in toy form here from Mastermind Creations. It's a really solid um, version of the character. So let's go ahead and take a look at his transformation into his robot mode. To transform Calidus here, we want to start by coming to these uh, black panels on the arms and untab them. You can see there's this little peg here and then you want to rotate them down and then re-peg in the black kind of peg here into the back. Normally that would peg into this uh, wheel well here. So we want to do that on both sides to kind of free up the chest area here. So unpeg it, rotate it down, and re-peg them down so the arms are kind of down like this. We can come to the chest now and the chest will open up and come down. Take these two panels and fold them to the sides. They'll peg in and then we want to stretch out the entire chest panel like that. Come to the head, carefully rotate it around watching the chin. Pull down on this so you can come to this panel back here which will lift up and there actually is a peg that will lock this into place and now this part can be a bit tricky we want to fit the head up into this back area here and it is a tight fit so you kind of want to bend the head so it has clearance and kind of just watching the pan a little bit and the head will kind of rotate and then these uh, kind of wings as long as the head is straight We'll close in and then the wheels will peg in to the back of the vehicle mode like that. So this is how this is all set up. Come to the arms. We want to curl them up and there's a tab where the arms will lock in up into themselves on each side. And go ahead and close the fists in. Take his torso and rotate it so that the window piece here is to the side. And now we can take the uh, this part that was his chest and rotate it around to his backside. And you need to, do that, need to do that in order to have clearance for this to come back around over top. Otherwise, it'll kind of bang up against there. I'm going to deviate from the normal instructions. Normal instructions would say to collapse everything now, but you want to leave this up and not collapse yet because it's easier to kind of work with them. So come to his feet. If you didn't already, we want to bring the feet um, and point the toe and bring it all the way up to it locks like that. So curl the toes and lift it up to it locks. Lift up on these front panels. We'll split the legs just a little bit right now. Open up this panel. And now this entire wheel piece here will fold in on itself and there's a tab that'll lock it into the side of the leg on both sides. So as long as you have clearance with this all open, fold this in. Now we want to straighten the legs. So straighten the legs so that they are fully um, like that. Because we want to make sure that this all lines up. And now these two halves at the front of the vehicle here will peg together. And it can be a bit stiff to get it there. Now we can take the uh, 
front of the vehicle mode here and it'll press down into the chest. And then we'll come back to these for the little locking bits. So come to the back of the vehicles here and there's a little red tab here. So if we collapse the arm, they'll peg into his sides. Come to these bottom uh, pieces here, they'll just fold up into the underside. And now we want to kind of collapse him. And so holding onto this piece and holding onto the back, kind of push him down and then make sure that kind of these lower pieces go into the yellow, but then the canopy kind of fits correctly. And then the hands will actually fit over the feet. So just kind of push this down until you kind of sandwich this fully together. And now finally, there's these little, there's these tiny little tabs underneath these pieces of his uh, kind of pipes here. And you can push them down in the lock and push the sides together. And it's just a matter of making sure everything's kind of pegged together. The feet fit over the hands, make sure everything's kind of just pegged together nice and straight. And here is uh, Calidus' core vehicle mode. Um, very similar to what they showed off in the IDW comic book. If you like, you can take his gun, and just like in robot mode, you can peg it on top of his vehicle mode, like that. And you can also, if you want to take the bow here, and if we extend these little pieces, there's some little pegs here on the bottom that match peg holes on the weapon here. And it's a matter of just pegging that in and kind of pushing these in. And you can uh, store his uh, arrow bits here if you want to. Very nice looking vehicle mode here. And here's a closer look at Kalos' Cybertronian vehicle mode. Again, very evocative of the IDW version of uh, Rodimus here. He does roll freely. He's got the two wheels in the front and these two hidden ones kind of here in the back. Again, you can put the bow on here if you like, but overall really nice looking version of uh, Rodimus here. Same nice glossy yellow paint. You can see that his canopy here is this nice clear blue. And just very solid looking version of uh, IDW Rodimus here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some comparisons for this figure. Comparing Kalos here with a variety of versions of Hot Rod slash Rodimus. On the left we've got the original classics version of Rodimus. We've got Titan's Return Hot Rod. Here's Kalidus. And then here's Mavspeed's uh, Hot Rod from Kartomi. And you can kind of see how uh, Kalidus here definitely um, matches the kind of the comic version of uh, Rodimus, unlike the others that are more, of course, the, uh, the G1 slash cartoon version of Rodimus with kind of like their rounded heads and vehicle modes. But you can see how uh, kind of Kalidus here stacks up. He's taller than the Delu Deluxe, almost kind of Voyager size, and here almost uh, you know, Mavspeed size, almost like a Mavspeed version of IDW Rodimus. And detail-wise, you can see how he matches the comic details um, a lot better than these other versions of Rodimus. A brighter red, um, more kind of uh, angular um, parts overall. And we'll see that definitely when we get to their uh, vehicle modes. Car mode comparisons. And again, you can see how these match the G1 style version of Hot Rod versus the comic style with the Cybertronian kind of uh, look. But you can see how large uh, Kalos' uh, vehicle mode is, actually the largest of all uh, four of these, and definitely the most uh, comic accurate version of Rodimus that we have available to us. Comparing Kalos here with some G1 slash movie versions of the Autobots, um, this specifically, these are the set of figures from the uh, Heroes of Cybertron box set that came with uh, Leader Ultra Magnus, Voyager Springer, Deluxe Class Cup, Blur, and RC, and of course this is just Titan's Return um, Wheelie who is separate. And I think this shows off uh, where Kalidus kind of fits scale-wise, where he's a Voyager version of the character. I, of course, don't think this is really a G1 version of uh, Rodimus or Hot Rod. It doesn't really match the scale. But if we were to kind of just focus on the kind of uh, comic version of the characters, like Ultra Magnus, uh, Springer, and Wheelie, this works as a nice scale here. This Rodimus looks nice next to this version of Ultra Magnus and Springer. In vehicle mode comparisons, again, you can see how Kalidus really doesn't match the uh, G1 look of uh, Rodimus overall. But when compared to, you know, Magnus and Springer, you know, comic book characters, he does match and looks really good as a comic book version of Rodimus. Comparing Kalidus here with some more comic styled figures and some members of the uh, Lost Light from the comic. Here we've got uh, Generation Toys Op-X, which is their version of IDW Optimus Prime. We've got SXX's Overclocking, which is their Blur. Here we got Leader Class Ultra Magnus again. This is Takara Legends Deluxe Class Skids. Then we've got Make Toys versions of Swerve 
and tailgate, uh, trash talk, and rear end. And you can kind of see stylistically when compare with kind of comic style characters in a in kind of a lost light kind of a setup or team, that's where uh, Kaladis kind of shines. And he even looks really nice here next to uh, Generation Toys Optimus um, as a scale overall here. And vehicle mode compares here with Kaladis with other comic book toys. You can see how he uh, stacks up this version of Rodimus next to overclocking uh, rear end and trash talk. And just kind of how he matches kind of the Cybertronian look uh, seen in the comic books. But he even looks really nice next to OpX here. You want to have, you know, a nice IDW um, Optimus next to his hot rod. One final comparison here for Kaladis is with uh, Mastermind Creations uh, Coltor, or their version of IDW Tarn. You can kind of see how these two uh, comic rivals kind of stack up side by side. Again, Mastermind does a really nice job here of giving comic styled versions of uh, more than meets the eye characters. And just like uh, Coulter here, Kaladis is an excellent version of IDW Rodimus. And now vehicle modes for these two figures. You can see how well their Tarn matches up next to Rodimus. Um, you know, big giant rival. Both very nice uh, versions of those comic designs here. And just again, excellent products from uh, Match My Creations to give us these uh, comic book based toys. Some final thoughts here for Mastermind Creations reformatted R27 Calidus, or their take on IDW Comic Rodimus. This is definitely the physical embodiment of that Alex Milne, more than meets the eye, designed version of Hot Rod Rodimus, you know, the co-captain of the Lost Light. It's got a great build, great engineering, very poseable, nice overall paint, it's a good size. And stylistically in his robot mode and his vehicle mode, he kind of matches to a T what IDW um, Rodimus looks like right now. This is another solid uh, release from Mastermind Creations to kind of give us these comic versions of these Transformer characters. Calus here is currently in stock and available from the Chosen Prime. If you want to kind of build up your Lost Light collection, uh, Calus here is another excellent toy, so take care.